Hi, I'm Marty Nemko. This is another of my short, short stories from the next edition of my book, Soloists, around 200 short, short stories of introverts and outsiders facing a dilemma. This one is called Playing Hooky. I was so in the mood for waffles. My mom said no because there wasn't time, but I begged, and she poured batter into the waffle maker, and I was happy. Then her phone rang. It was her boss, and she forgot about the waffle. When I smelled it burning, I pulled at her suit and said, Mommy, Mommy, it's burning. She turned off the waffle maker and finished her phone call. When she opened the cover, it was burned. She said a bad word and then, Take a yogurt from the refrigerator. You'll eat it in the car. Then I remembered she had to sign a note for my class field trip to the African American Civil War Museum. I had a hard time finding it in my backpack, and I saw her tapping her foot nervously. She scribbled her signature, grabbed her briefcase, and we ran to the car. She didn't even buckle me into the child seat, and she drove fast. She had to slam on her brakes because the light was yellow. When we got to the school, the schoolyard was empty. The kids had already gone in. We raced to the student door, but it was locked. My mom said another bad word, and we raced to the front entrance where we'd have to tell the school secretary why we were late. But before we got to the front door, my mom stopped and said, let's play hooky. She called her boss and said that I just got sick and she didn't have time to get a babysitter. I didn't know that parents lie. Then she told me that she knows someone who works at a bakery. And so we went and saw how croissants are made. Oh my God, does it take a lot of work. You have to put in a ton of butter into the dough and then roll it out three times cut it up and stack the layers, and somehow that gets you hundreds of layers. Wow! I was loving watching and especially tasting. Croissants are delicious, especially the chocolate ones. It hit me that while I was eating a croissant, my class was probably doing math. We are working on something called associative and distributive. I don't remember what. Well, when we got back into the car, my mother drove us around the cool five-sided building where she works. It's called the Pentagon. It's CIA headquarters. I asked her, she's a spy, and she laughed and said she was one of the many people who worked there who just read and write things. That was boring. So I asked her lots of questions about what it's like to be a spy. Most times she said, I don't know, or that's classified. I can't tell you, even though you're my son. But she did tell me that the CIA tried using cats as spies. They were equipped with a tiny antenna so they could transmit secret conversations back to the CIA. I was loving it and imagine that if I were in class now, I'd probably be on spelling or if we were lucky art. We were learning how to make origami. My mom drove me back to school and I was in time for social studies. The teacher was talking about the Civil War, but I was still thinking about the cat spy. I think my teacher saw me daydreaming, daydreaming, so she called on me. Justin, what was the Civil War about? I could only come up with freeing the blacks. She sighed and said, pay attention. I thought my day was with mom was better. I'm going to ask mom if we can play hooky again tomorrow. Anyway, um, that short story is called uh, um, Playing Hooky. As usual, I welcome your thumbs up and accept your thumbs down. I always look forward to your comments and especially like it if you hit the share button below. Share on your social media so that my efforts can have broader impact. And I am flattered if you hit the subscribe button and subscribe to my channel. In any event, I do thank you for watching. I am Marty Nemco.